Well, let's now turn attention to the anti-graft war in the country. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Olao Lukoyedi, says Nigeria lost out on the Halliburton scandal that was prosecuted in the country, while the United States of America has made over $3 billion from its litigation. He said this when he received members of the House of Representatives Committee on Financial Crimes and Celestine Area reports. A day after the visit of the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption to the EFCC headquarters, the House Committee on Financial Crimes visits the Commission. This visit is to assess the budgetary performance of the Commission between 2023 and 2024. The Chairman of the Committee assures the Commission of their support through laws and appropriations. He says the EFCC must work hard to correct the narrative that the agency is used to settle political scores. The reports given to the lawmakers by the Commission will be considered, and if there are questions, the chairman will be invited for a discussion. The EFCC must ensure transparency and accountability in its operation. The negative maxim being peddled in certain quarters that the agency is often being used to settle political scores must be made to be incorrect. Responding to the committee, Chairman of the Commission, Olao Lukoyude, made reference to the Halibontins case and how Nigeria lost out from benefiting from its litigation. We did the investigation here in Nigeria. The bribe, bribes was paid in Nigeria at the expense of our economy. But they took all the proof of evidence to U.S. The matter was prosecuted in U.S. As of the last information I got, U.S. had made over $3 billion in form of fines, plea bargain from that particular scandal that took place in Nigeria. And not one dime, not one naira, did we make out of that scandal. Not one. No recovery. Not. But the moment that thing that put they moved them to U.S., they recorded them by with provision of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. The chairman of the EFCC highlighted some of the needs of the commission to the committee, ranging for the need to acquire new and modern technology to be able to trade financial crimes. Also, he talked about housing and welfare for staff of the EFCC, as well as need to have permanent locations for their zona offices. Celestina area, TVC News, Abuja.